I got started playing guitar about two years ago. Pretty much when I get home, I play the guitar for four hours or more every day. I love ACDC. Slash. Jimmy Page. Aerosmith. I think the thing that I love most about playing guitar, I just kind of like the expression you can get from it. Like just some of the uh, different sounds you can get from it. Peter was born with uh, micronathia, which is a small jaw. He was born at 30 weeks, he weighed less than 3 pounds, and he was born with a missing left ear also, dermoids in his eyes, cleft palate. Peter's had 29 surgeries. The majority are, are centered around his jaw and his, his craniofacial anatomy to really try to improve not only his quality of life, his ability to eat and, and talk, but also aesthetics, you know, which is obviously important for a 17-year-old boy. It's been a struggle for him all the way through. Some of the surgeries are extremely complex uh, and difficult, most difficult of which was done June of 17. I remember when I got out of bed for the first time and they helped me kind of like get to the bathroom and stuff and I looked up and I saw my face for the first time. I mean, I was just kind of, I was shocked at how different I looked. You know, when he was born, the first fear is all his medical issues and breathing and, and things like that. But then the second fear is Will he ever have any friends? Is he, you know, how bad is he gonna be bullied? It wasn't even, is he gonna be bullied? It's how bad is he gonna be bullied? And as parents, as he was growing up, we had to learn how to deal with the staring before he did, before he recognized it. We had to figure out how are we gonna teach him? How are we gonna coach him to handle situations? The book Wonder by R.J. Palacio was published in 2012, about a 10-year-old boy with a facial difference. And the main theme of the book is when given the choice between being right or being kind, choose kind. And I had Peter read it because he was the same age as the character in the book when it was published. And he had so much in common with his character. Friends of mine that were teachers said, hey, can you, you know, we just read Wonder and the kids would love to talk to Peter because he's kind of like Augie. Augie is the boy in the book. We just started talking to kids in classrooms and it was such a cool experience because Peter kind of brought the story to life for these kids. Peter, Jacob, and I have been speaking at school since about 2013 and we've talked with about 25,000 students, I think about 135 schools around the country about choose kind and the fact that kindness costs nothing. Anyone can do it anytime, anywhere. One of the main things that I really hope they take away is that they can be more compassionate to kids who look different. Sometimes after presentations, I like talk to my mom about how I saw people change a lot. Like they'll look at Peter with his uh, trach and his feeding tube, and they'll start to understand that it's just a different part of him. It's everybody has their own special parts, and Peter just happens to have a trach and a feeding tube, and like other people have that too. The advice that I would give for people who who want to become friends with someone who's different, just strike up a conversation with someone the way you would with anyone else because, I mean, we're all more alike than different. Kindness is like a domino effect. It just takes one person to tip the dominoes and then it all spreads out. It all goes all over the place. So I really do hope that, you know, one person is nice to someone else and then it just spreads everywhere.